Today I want to see with you how to handle accessories with Rittel. So technically, of course, we're talking here about the solution we're using here, the um, cabinet control switchgear engineering, the uh, ePlan Pro panel. And of course, parallel to this, we all know that in the ePlan data portal, different manufacturers, among them, of course, Rittel, gives us some part numbers. So if we look at one specific one here, the uh, 88, 08500, this part was taken directly from the ePlan data portal. As you know, when you go to ePlan data portal, you can just type in the part number as you know it, and it will search for the part and you can place it. Now, usually it comes with a physical 3D macro. It also comes with the commercial data. It comes with some other data. And one of the data is that we are actually looking at is in this particular case is the accessory. So one typical accessory that some people may actually add, and you can see this here with the insert accessories. When you pick this, you can see that there are a whole bunch of accessories that are possible. I'm actually gonna go here with the um, cable base. This is a small cable base that can be added and you just specify here, boom, that you want it. You can do it on the second panel, of course, also. It's in this particular case here, uh, 100 millimeter, uh, roughly a three inch base, in which your cables can come in and it is automatically placed down at the bottom there. How I did um, this and how this works out is that every one of your uh, parts, if I go up to my parts management, has here a list of attributes, uh, accessories that are possible. When I drill it down here to this Rital base that we're looking at, we are looking at the possibility of using some um, base. And this base here, again, comes with a few part numbers. So what I did is I went and picked this particular uh, base from the data portal so it's accessible and available. Another one I'm gonna look at is this one here, the 800 by 200 door. The 800 by 200 door has actually different part numbers I can add. Some of these part numbers are actually already standard part numbers. They're glazed doors that are available. And I also went up to uh, my retail colleague and I found out that the uh, door itself, that is not really a glazed door, it's just a standard door, uh, is a 5050067. So I basically added it here. And uh, the nice thing about it is now that I have these parts available, so they are also in here, I can actually, uh, I'm just gonna go down here, back to my accessories, and as you can see, if I move to the back of this object, you can see there is no door right now installed. I'm gonna add a door, and here by picking the TS 800 by 600 door, I can now pick which one I want. And when I pick it, I can also say whether I want it in front or in the back. Now I'm gonna pick the back because that's the back position. And here it is now added to the back. On this one here, I'm gonna show you the standard door that is proposed from uh, Rital here, uh, which I did not have to create. This one here, for instance. Also, I'm gonna place it here in the back and you will see this one comes with an interesting glazed door and there it is. So we can actually look at the top view just to make sure this all fits nice and tight. And you can see that the doors right away went here. I'm just gonna rotate a little bit so we can see. You can see that the door fits right into its position where it's supposed to. And I believe this is pretty much perfect on that uh, side. So I simply added some accessories and of course, from that point on, I can take a look at my uh, regular panel as it is. Uh, I can look at it from a front view. I can now drill it down and say, okay, on my first enclosure, I want to go with my mounting panel and put the mounting panel on. What I can also do is I can say, please show me only mounting panel. So you see the two doors front and then you continue uh, as if everything uh, was normal without these accessories. So this was how to handle accessories within a retail panel with what they give us.